I've been to the scene of a wildlife crime and I'll never forget it. It was in a small wood by the side of the road in central Scotland. A deep, dark hole had been dug in the ground and attached to one of the trees was a ragged piece of rope. The rope would have been used to tie up a dog. The hole in the ground was used to dig out a badger. The dog and the badger would then have been made to fight each other. I felt sick at the thought of it, and still do. But there was worse to come. The investigators who took me to that badger set told me about the other crimes that had been uncovered around the same time. An illegal bird trap in Stirlingshire. A buzzard killed in Lanarkshire. The mysterious disappearance of a hen harrier in southern Scotland. And an illegal snare near Kirkcaldy. And those were just the offences they knew about. There's a tidal wave of wildlife crime and cruelty to animals, the investigators told me, it's out of control. Which makes this week's comments by the First Minister at Holyrood so disappointing. Nicola Sturgeon was asked whether the use of snares to trap animals should be banned and this is what she said, Scotland leads the way on regulating snares, we have the strongest laws in the UK, people have to be trained to use them and every snare has to carry a tag that identifies the user. She also said the law was kept under constant review and she would not hesitate to take action if there was evidence that the law wasn't working. But how much more evidence do you need First Minister? Badgers. Cats. Deer. Dogs. Hedgehogs. Sheep. Swans. And the capercaillie for God's sake. Not to mention the pests the snares are aimed at, such as foxes. They've all been trapped by snares and suffered agonizing deaths and it seems to me that the legal status of the snare makes no difference, neither does the fact that the law is slightly worse in the rest of the UK. Pain and suffering is pain and suffering whether it's legal or illegal and wherever it happens. So, could we go back to basics please and talk about what snares are actually for and what they do? For a start, they are almost always laid for the most trivial of reasons, to protect game birds so they can be killed on shooting estates. Secondly, they don't work. The evidence is that even when a large number of foxes are caught by snares, other foxes quickly move into the area. So not only are snares cruel, they're crap at their job. Thirdly, they cause terrible suffering. When an animal is caught, it will struggle to escape, sometimes for hours or days. Some animals will try to gnaw through the wire causing further injury, many will die slow deaths. As I said, the snares also often catch animals they're not aimed at including protected species such as otters and badgers. All of this should indicate an outright ban, and yet the law in Scotland seeks to mana for more on this story, visit the news article link.